Just about a week ago, we came in in the morning and Marippi had produced her second baby. But it's only the second uh, giant anteater that's ever been born here at the National Zoo. And they were curled up together in the crate. Obviously, everything was happy. It was very exciting and, and informed all the right people. And the vets came down and the curator came down and we all took a quick look at mom and the baby and everything looked fine. So at that point, we just, we left her alone. Anteaters live in Central and South America. They will live in grasslands, they will live in upland forests. When anteaters are first born, uh, the ba babies are what we call very precocious in that they can move around and they can climb up on the mother's back. It's very important for the baby to be on its mother's back because that's going to mean safety in the wild. The babies are born with uh, all the coloration of the adults and their hair is only about ooh, a quarter to a half inch long, but it does have all the markings that the mother has. And when the baby climbs up on its mother's back and hangs onto the long crest that runs down her spine, it almost blends in when, she, when the baby gets a little better at climbing up on its mother's back. It'll get farther up and the black spot, the, excuse me, the black stripes will line up and it really camouflages it very well.